do. So, I got my baby back. I'm fucking lit. I've missed it so much while I was gone. And it was a fucking bitch getting everything fixed and good to go. The ABS light uh, came on, it was blinking, so my ABS like wasn't working. Because uh, I like poured gas, I was filling up my bike with gas. I'll explain why it was doing, like what happened with the whole bike. I'll explain like the whole little story. I was filling up my bike with gas and I put it where like the gas automatically like goes, that little like lock on it pretty much. And so while I'm doing that, I, like it overfilled and I didn't notice, it didn't stop or anything. So I turned around when I came back to it, you know, my gas like was overfilling and shit like that. And uh, when I installed my LED lights, we had pinched a wire while installing it. So it was like getting messed up every time like I was riding and the gas just like fucked it up. Those guys are staring at me, but uh, it fucked it up pretty much. So like I wasn't able to ride, like my ABS thing was fucked up. My tire was a little flat. So I had to order a new one of those and it was just like fucking shit. And I had to like, and I was supposed to get a maintenance thing done at 500, like bah, 500 miles. Couldn't talk for a second there. And I'm at 4,100 miles right now. So I was, and like the next one was supposed to be at 4,500 miles. So I needed to get like a maintenance like thing on it done. And so I was just like, fuck it. I'm leaving the shop. Let them put on the new tire redo the maintenance on it, fix the ABS light, and all that shit, since, like, I gotta get it all done. So I just decided to do all that so, you know, I couldn't, like, I, like, don't mess up my bike to where I can't ride it at all. So, it's in the shop, you know, I'm getting, like, my tire put on, my new back tire, my fucking ABS lights getting fixed, they're doing the oil change, lubing up the chain, fix, like, just doing a maintenance overhaul on it. And while that's going on, I'm using my car. Then my car gets a, gets a fucking flat. And I was just like, are you shitting me? So my car gets a fucking flat. And then I have a flat on my car. So that's another, you know, 200 bucks down the drain right there for a new tire on my car. And then my bike gets done. And mind you, mind you this. They get the ABS warranty, the ABS light for warranty. So I didn't have to pay for them to fix the ABS light. So just for them putting on the tire, and uh, doing like a maintenance thing for it at 4,000 miles was $630. Yeah, nah, that, that's what I said, $630 fucking dollars. So now I have to come up with that money and that fucking sucks because that's a fucking shit ton. So that's what I decided to talk about in this fucking video is like motorcycles, like are they worth it? That's like, that's like the topic of my video. If you read it in the thumbnail, you already know. So, yes, motorcycles are worth it, still in my opinion. I would, you know, shout out 630 anytime for my motorcycle, no matter what, I will still pay that. So, yeah, they're still worth it in my opinion. But when you buy a motorcycle, you're not just buying the motorcycle and that is it. You gotta pay for maintenance, new tires, all that, just all the time. So if you're thinking about getting a motorcycle and you don't know like, if you, okay, just let me put it this way, let me put it this way. You're getting a motorcycle and you only have enough money to pay for the motorcycle and that is it. You don't have any extra money for like anything else. You just have literally the payment for the motorcycle and that is fucking it. And you like can't pay for anything else. My suggestion is don't get one yet. If you do, and if you do, then like just keep it in your garage for a little bit and don't use it. You know, like store it. Cause you gotta buy a helmet, gear, you gotta pay for new tires if you get a flat, you gotta pay for them to put it on, you gotta pay for maintenance, and if like something bad happens, you know, you gotta have money just in case to fix it, something like that fucking bad happened. So I say, when you get a fucking motorcycle, so let's say the motorcycle, uh, this is Motorcycle X, that's what we're gonna call it, Motorcycle X. So Motorcycle X is, you know, $5,000. So, you've wanted Motorcycle X your whole fucking life, and you have exactly $5,000 now ready to go. Dude, that, that dude is yelling on his phone. Yeah, he's yelling. Anyways, you have exactly $5,000 to buy this motorcycle that you've always wanted. So, you shell out $5,000 to buy this motorcycle, 
brand new and you fuck something up on it and they can't cover it with the warranty and you don't have money to get it fixed then you don't have this motorcycle let's say for like three months and you're shit and you're like pissed and you're just fucking you know mad as shit that's why i say like save up the money for the motorcycle save up another grand maybe grand and a half over how much the motorcycle actually costs just so you can buy gear and uh maybe actually two grand for gear helmet you know all that shit and then like just basic like maintenance and shit like that like so i'd say like just save up a grand and a half more than how much the motorcycle actually is now if you have the money and you want to buy the motorcycle on like right right when you have the money i understand that you can fucking do you know do that all you want fucking do it but don't like ride the shit out of it or something or at least like keep it like in your garage for a little while and like you know make sure you have the money so you can actually like keep care of it if something happened because that's what i didn't do and now that i'm thinking about it it's what i should have done but i'm lucky and fortunate enough that my parents helped me out and they paid for the maintenance now i'm paying them back it's just going on the end of my payment for this motorcycle but you know some people don't have like you know some people's parents wouldn't do that so i'm just saying like if you know your parents or the parents that aren't going to do that then you know save up the extra you know grand so you you know you're able to do that but yeah motorcycles are not like just cheap things like you gotta pay for the motorcycle you gotta pay for like maintenance all that that cop's just lurking there it's like a tahoe it's like an all black tahoe that's pretty cool but uh maintenance and all that shit like you just gotta be ready that's like it's like the same thing with a car you know you can't just expect to pay the price for a car and then that's all you ever gonna have to pay on it you got shit to pay on that too and if you can barely afford like taking care of your car I don't know if you want to take up a second vehicle it's like eh you know you gotta like know what you're doing like which i'm not saying i do but just you know be aware of like all the things that go into buying like an automobile or some shit like that you know because it's just like money pit you know that's what it is but I don't regret getting my bike. I would never like give up my bike, sell my bike. Cause I, you know, something happened to it like where I couldn't, you know, pay to get like something fixed on it. Like I'm always gonna like, you know, pay the money to get this thing fixed. Unless it's like to the point where it's just like, why not just get a new motorcycle? You know, like it's just, it's just like fucked up or something where like the price of fixing it's gonna cost the price of how much it costs, you know, something like that. Oh, I thought she was talking to me. <laughs> she had a cigarette. She was on the phone, I guess. Fuck, I don't know. Huh, weird. She's still at the stop sign, so... I don't know. I've been... A, today's been a weird day, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh... Anyways. I'm back with the motorcycle. That's a good thing. Expect vlogs... Motor vlogs to come back up and, like, me start posting them more. Uh, I'm trying to get like more of a following going. We're at 70 subscribers. Let's get it to 100, guys. My goal is to get a thousand by the end of summer. That is my goal. A thousand subs by the end of this summer. If we can do that, then that'll be fucking amazing. You know, that's just that's like my goal. Let's get a thousand subs by the end of fucking summer, cause that would just be lit. It, like I would achieve my goal. That's what I want. No one's Come on, there's someone down there, but we have some time. That's what I want. Let's fucking do it, guys. I think we can do it. And I know y'all can, like, you know, support me and share my link with everyone you know and just, like, help me out. Do what you can. But, uh, anyways, I'm back, so that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that shit I always tell you. Deuces. Who you think you fucking with? Cause maximus don't get fucked with. Well, you're fucking with me if you think you're honestly fucking with me. <laughs>